Hey, I'm Melissa Raymer, the Education Library Liaison, and I'm going to go over ways to locate articles and other research material for your class projects. I'm going to show you some places to start. Uh, the library's website is library.uncw.edu, and as long as you go through the Randall Library's homepage, be prompted here for credentials if you are off campus. So you will use the same login that you use for email, Blackboard, and all the other sign-in systems on campus. A little bit about the library's website. I've got the search box on the home page, which searches a variety of resources from the library, articles, books, videos, journals, and more. We have by databases, you can get a recommended starting point list, alphabetic by database name, as well as subject and type. You can also search the library's catalog for books, ebooks, and other material. And then we have a Get Help tab area where you can email, call, or chat with a librarian if you have any questions, as well as find your librarian where myself will be listed if you need any specific class help, definitely take advantage of those areas for help. Where I'm going to start is for this level of a course, I would like to gear you away from this search box here in the center of the library's homepage. I'd like you to focus in on the subject specific databases. Again, it's within the databases button or this link underneath the box for subject specific databases. Here we, the librarians, have taken the 200 plus databases that we have and have chunked them together by discipline, subject area, and we have one for education. This is a good place to start for any of your education course research projects. Basically a little bit about the guide. We have the main article searching databases in the center under recommended databases. And then on the right and the left, we have them categorized, whether it's ebook, video, image databases, statistics, things of that nature, as well as websites that we suggest. But also, if you scroll down, there's contact information. And Education is Lucky, there are two librarians that support education Catherine Batten, and then myself, Melissa Raymer. Email is a really good way to contact Catherine or I. and. We'll get back to you as soon as we can to help you. And then, of course, you can take advantage of those other contact through the Get Help. So let's take a look at some of the databases for articles, dissertation, theses, book reviews, book chapters. Different databases provide different types of resources. Let's look at some of the recommended databases. The first database, ERIC. That's a core database in the field of education, the journals that are publishing within that database are going to be core education journals, so the authors and publishers are in the education field. Other databases in the recommended databases that are vital for research are SAGE and JSTOR. They are multidisciplinary databases, so they cover all kinds of disciplines, so it's good for any cross-disciplinary research. But different databases provide different journal titles. So you may see some duplication, but then, of course, you're going to see titles in one database that is not offered in the other. So it's a good way to cover all your bases is to search various databases to get your resources that you need for your research projects. So let's take a look at Eric. I'm going to use a sample search topic here. The topic is... The place of gaming in instruction and assessment. Basically, I'm going to pull out the core keywords in that statement and start my search. I'm going to use gaming, and then I'm going to use instruction, and then I'm going to add assessment. And you can see that I took advantage of the multiple search boxes. You can see on the left-hand side drop-down menus, I've got my Boolean or my connectors, and, or, or not. And the most common that we use is obviously and. So I'm looking for all three of those words somewhere in my search results. Also below the search boxes, you can see there are some limits. I can limit to peer review, scholarly journals, and ERIC full text documents and journals only. 
Now the only two that I would worry about here is you could check scholarly and you could check peer-reviewed. Those would be the two that if I was going to check, I would check, but I'm going to leave them unchecked for now. Another way you could also control your results is publication date. So right now we're at all date. That's current to, to historical information. Again, I'm going to leave it, but you can obviously click on the drop down menu and you have options. You can actually put in a date range. So if your topic is very broad, you can always go back and limit by date if you need to. Once you have your keywords set up, just hit search, see what type of results you get. I have 41 results. They are sorted in a relevancy. Similar to Google, they're trying to put the the results they think that would match your search best up top, but you can change sort to current to oldest first and then just hit the sort button to redo your results. My results are down kind of the center, the left hand side. I can there again start limiting my results. There are 24 scholarly articles, 10 other sources, 5 either book reviews and or chapters. There is one dissertation, thesis, one report and other. And then here I can also see that my results go back to 1974 to current. I can manipulate that date range by sliding the bar and hitting update. So let's take a look at a few of these results. From here you can see these highlighted text. Those are the keywords that I put in my search box. For number one, I can see there's HTML full text option as well as a PDF. Not all results will provide two options. Some will provide either or, as well as get it from UNCW, which means a few things. We're in ERIC, so think of it as in we're at one store, say Target, and Target is out of Dove Soap. So you need to try to go to another store to see if another store has it. You would go to, say, Walmart to see if Walmart has it. That's where Get It comes into play. Get It from UNCW means we tried Eric, the database, but we have 200 plus databases, so I'm going to see if any of those other databases had that journal with the full text online and see if that option first. If we don't have it online full text through one of those other databases, then potentially maybe we still have it in our print bound journal collection or another format such as microfilm, microfiche, or it could be an instance of we need to get it through interlibrary loan, a service where we borrow material from other libraries in the country. Get it is a very nice service. Let's look at the record for number one. I'm going to click on the title. What's good about looking at a record, especially of a article that seems to be a good article for your topic, you want to scroll and be sure you're on the abstract details tab. The abstract, you can read the summary of the article. And this is core in saving time. When you're doing research, there should be enough information in that abstract summary to let you know if you should keep that article in a virtual pile, so to speak, that you can access later when you start your actual research. Kind of start collecting your sources. If you scroll down to the details, the subject list is very core too, especially when trying to figure out the correct keyword combination. Research is about the a keyword combination, putting those puzzle pieces together to make that puzzle complete. The subject keywords can be vital in helping you expand those keywords, suggesting keywords you may not have thought to use, especially when you're thinking of something like this. And what I mean is we use the word gaming. Well, there's words like computer simulation, multimedia instruction, simulated environment, role-playing, video games. These are other keywords that I could add to my research strategy, which is that keyword search, to enhance it. So keep that in mind. And then there's some other useful information as well in the abstract detail record. So if you keep scrolling down, if you see under source type, it says scholarly journal, peer reviewed, yes. So if this is a criteria for your research, you can see that this is a scholarly peer reviewed article. It could be something that you could definitely use if this fits your topic criteria. So let's go back to our results and we'll look at number two. As you can see from number two, there is no full text listed. It's just abstract details, get it from UNCW. When I click on get it from UNCW, you'll see something that appears like this. Sorry, it appears we do not have access to this journal. You can see in the citation, it's from 2017. 
if I want to check the UNCW Library Catalog, I can see we own the journal Technology, Pedagogy, and Education. Online access is 1997 to 2009, and our print access is 2007 to 2009. So basically, we have 1997 to 2009. And since this is from 2017, we don't have access through UNCW. This would be an option that if you read the summary and abstract and it sounded like it was a good article for you to use, you can request through UNCW Interlibrary Loan. And this is a free service. Log in with your credentials. Once your account is set up, which takes a, a minute, you'll see that the form is auto-populated with the article information, hit submit, and then you would wait for an email confirmation. And then once you get an email confirmation, you'll log into Interlibrary Loan. And as you can see on my screen, I have an article. Click on the PDF, save it to my computer and or print it out, and I'll have access to it. It only stays in this portal for 30 days. Articles take three to five business days to get, where books would take about an average of eight to 10 days. You can do a new request for articles and or books through the interlibrary loan portal. You can see on the left hand menu to do that and to edit your profile. That's where first time you log into interlibrary loan, you'll be asked to set up your profile. This is important if you are a distance education student, meaning you live outside of the Wilmington area, so an hour or more away. You would select your status as distance education or the distance ed grad. Either one will open up the home address field and then here you can put in your mailing address and then submit. So if you're submitting anything for books, we'll actually mail the book to your house with free return shipping. Now the articles will again be uploaded in this into this portal and then you just access them from the computer. How do you get to interlibrary loan outside of article searching? If you go to the library's homepage, the library.uncw.edu, under the teal toolbar, use the library services interlibrary loan. You click there, log in, create an original request, and or retrieve your articles.